proof that ChatGPT has given a brain rot. Not in a metaphorical way, literally. Electrodes on your skull, lab coat, MIT scientist proof. They compared people who wrote essays using ChatGPT versus those don't and tested their brain memories and psychology. This study, as shocking as it sounds, isn't perfect. The sample size is small, the design is flawed, but the conclusion is still dangerous if you don't pay attention. Because this might be the beginning of something way bigger than we think. And there's also the time constraints and the working rule constraints. Especially, they don't allow ChatGPT users to check any other sources. If you lock the tool and limit the time and force the topic, then of course the AI looks bad. So yes, thank you for your neural imaging and your linguistic clustering, but this conclusion is not applicable to most real-world scenarios. Not until you let participants actually engage the way real humans use AI. Let them be curious, let them push back, let them explore. Allow them open different websites so they're encouraged for long back and forth and switch strategies midway. Because if you don't, then all you are really testing may be how lazy people get when you make them do something boring under a time limit with tools they can't control. And that may turn out to be just a bad user interface. And in the interview process after the test, ask the participants what they felt useful. Ask what confused them. Ask how much they trusted the results. Ask whether they would do it again. Because cognitive offloading isn't about how much work you did. It's about how you decided what work you do. Personally, that's the study I would fund or I would read. And that's the study we need. This is Rishu PhD. I have a full video analyzing how this MIT study may be flawed in design and drawing conclusions. Conclusion and how we should be using ChatGPT to help with our critical thinking. If you want to hear the medical doctor and neuroscientist Ahmad Nazar's opinion, you can jump to the timestamp 8 minutes.